Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is a super exciting video for me. I have a special guest and a lot of you know from my community tab who it is, but I have Hello! <laughs> Hi guys! We're here to, at Molly's Archer Studio and we are ready to rock it together and create yes. something awesome. So what this, are we doing? this is Olga Sobi. If Hi. you don't know her, I'm going to link her channel under the video. Please check it out. But we are going to do one of her techniques today. We are going to do a stencil technique over a painting that I did a while back and I was doing a swipe with Australian Floetrol and there was just a spot that a bug got in. I didn't throw it away because I love the painting and I wanted to do something a little bit different. So we're gonna take Olga's stencil technique and she's gonna teach me how to do it today. We're gonna go through, pick out some of the supplies that we're gonna use and she's gonna talk us through it. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah, let's go pick some materials. Do you know what I say in my videos? <laughs> yes. Let's, let's paint. paint. <laughs> okay, so I have, and don't judge me, I have <laughs> all these mediums. It's from our course. It's from teaching in our course and just accumulation over time. But um, I do need, you said I need... Gloss gel. Gloss gel. So, so there's a super heavy mm -hmm. gloss gel that I have. Do any of, will any of these work? There's regular gloss gel. I actually don't gel. like heavy for this technique because when you're working with finer lines, again, the gloss gel, it just might not leave those fine curvy lines so i actually like regular gloss gel because heavy it's not the most suitable so regular or even light or with soft soft gel soft. might well work as well so this okay. or this now if you guys have this molding paste or sometimes it's modeling paste it um it's opaque white so it might not work because gloss gel dries transparent it will make your paint shine beautifully this will create opaque white layer which is not the look i'm after usually with my stencil so this is the one to go okay and you don't the... want to use this for crackle paste I mean, yeah no crackle paste neat. is a no might be a very neat effect you never know yeah but maybe we can try something yeah, out maybe, maybe yeah. We can. yeah um okay so can you pull this bottle out and see does it show the transparency for them on the bottle itself can we take a look at that it does not but Clear dry and heavy or heavy body acrylic medium, so that's perfect. Okay, so clear drying, and then what about the, what about Art this Liquitex spring. one? Okay. Let's see, yeah, here it shows. Let's see, matte. So this one is gloss and transparent. So it's almost fully transparent. Excuse my cracked nail. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. Perfect. So those are the things that you can look for when yeah, you're looking for so the right paste. Transparency for sure is the way to go with this one. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I've got the we've got the paste. Anything else that we need as far as mediums go? By the way, here this it says opaque. So this one is not transparent. We don't want that. Okay. Stay, All right. Perfect. Stay clear. And we need some just nice paint to go over. Okay. Over gel. All right. So let's pick that out. Okay. Okay. What are you thinking? I really love this one. Yeah, that this one's really cool. pretty. This is cool. This one is nice, but it's a little different, but we can make it work. This one's corner. Yeah, is this one is a little more square and yeah. it's not circular, so. If we, we will, you would need to either single it out in the center or have two of those in the corners. Mm -hmm. so yeah, so, that, so that's what I was kind of thinking is yeah. to have these, this one in the corners and maybe have something like this or maybe something like juxtaposition, like a, like a square and a circle. Okay, let's start with what you don't like. What okay, is one so you this don't one's like? out. I think one's off, yeah. This one, it's a bit too fine. And when working with very fine lines, it might be difficult with the texture applications. So you mean like those little tiny yeah, ones? Yeah, this is good, but these lines are very thin and when we're gonna be removing it, it might actually pick up all the paint, so it might not work. We can try, okay. but we can do a test run with this one first. Okay, all right. See, this one like, has like super fine but lines here. Okay, it's, so let's, I, yeah. this yeah. one's not my favorite, so let's take okay. this one out and let's take these okay. two out. Perfect. Okay, so now we're down to, and I think... Okay, pick one, one of those. Definitely this one, this one. over okay. this one. So okay. Four. That's perfect. Okay. All right, and you, everybody, let us know in the comments what you what you would pick 
yes. as of right now. Which one? So this is one, two, three, four. I'm sure I'm gonna love whichever one is picked, <laughs> yeah. but they're all awesome. Okay, so now I'm thinking we can use multiple. I'm, I really love this yeah. one. I really love this one, and I really like these. I, so this one's out. Okay. Now we're down to three. I actually like that all three are different, so it's it can be very So let's do all three. Yeah, let's do all three. Let's do all three. Sounds we'll good. We'll have two here and maybe one. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay, but at least we've got this part done, right? right. All right. So we have these stencils, and I just got these off Amazon. But there are certain stencils when we were looking through them that Olga had some recommendations on. So I'm going to let her tell you, like, some of them were smaller, you mm -hmm. said, or something, and yeah. those don't work as well. So I'll let you explain that part. So there are so many ways to apply, to embellish your painting and to use stencil to embellish your painting. I'm just going to show you how I do it, my favorite method. And I really love to add some texture when I apply the stencil because I think it really adds the dimension to the painting and just looks really awesome. So for adding that texture, I like to use gloss gel. You guys saw we picked this just regular gloss gel. And when working with thicker consistency, thicker viscosity mediums or paint, if your stencil is super fine, has very ultra fine details, when you're gonna be removing it, it's very likely that the stencil will actually lift up the gel or thick paint as well. So it's very important so to have- like this right This here. is on the edge, actually. We will see how this one turns out. Okay. Might, the bigger ones might be fine. This ones might be not so good, but we'll see. Okay. This one is on the edge. This is perfect. This is perfect. Okay. So this is just something to keep in mind. And I have to say, I am so excited to work on this painting because this is one of my favorites from Molly Swipe series. I <laughs> love you. this Thank one. Thank you. So it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, there's just one little th something and- It's the it's the bug. And it, I know it the bothers you, The proverbial bug. So we're gonna work with it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do something I didn't wanna it. throw it away, so. So yeah, those are the stencil we're gonna be using. All right, perfect. And yeah, and the gloss gel and the colors, we have everything in place. Okay, so we're using a Soho Gold mm -hmm. here. And then we're using Creative Inspirations. We've got Creative Inspirations, Gold and Creative Inspirations Rich Bronze. And we're gonna and use And this those. is what you use for this painting, mm -hmm. right? Yep, it's the same thing. And then we've got some black. Now, you had said to do black on these because it'll be contrasting and then the gold yeah. and the bronze on these. Yeah, so I that's think what that we'll would be, be doing. the best. Okay, all right. Also okay. for the uh, palette knives and spatulas, I like to use something not very big size, something rounded and more square shape. This one will also do, but I think this shape is something you wanna look for when working with this technique. So what I'm gonna do, this is my used palette I have here. It because has these come in jugs, I'm actually going to um, put just a little bit of the paint down so that we can scoop it up with the patula mm -hmm. and apply it as needed. Here we go. I am going to tape it. Did you want to do it? No, you I want, want me to do, do it. it. Yeah, I okay. want you to do All it. Right. Just okay. don't, I'm gonna make do sure it. you don't cover the design. Okay, so do you tape like along the edges here or do you actually tape through? Like, what do you do? I usually do, depending if it's here, I would do like here oh, and I moved it, of course. Maybe on one of these sides. I don't usually tape all around because so you're just, just like to make literally sure, making sure it doesn't move. Just making sure it doesn't move. Yeah, we don't okay, need to so like I'm really. I'm gonna put some right here. And one tip, I usually lift one side up, so, so that you just, can peel it's it easy, better. Easy to remove. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm gonna do that right there. And while I'm only doing this, if you guys have a stencil that's like really hanging off the side of the canvas. That's not good. We don't want that. So you would want to use a stand, like one of these stands that we have canvas on. Or maybe you, could, like, use you can do it like that. Yeah, just something. So you want your stencil to be flat to the surface. Otherwise, see okay. if it bends, it's going to oh, bend lift it. up there. Yeah, and you're going to get smudged mm -hmm. designs. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah keeping, All right, good tip. Keeping good it tip. nice and flat. Okay, so we're going to work on this one so we can put these yeah, to the yeah, side, let's do it. right? Okay. All right. What's next? Okay, next. All taped up. Gloss gel. Okay. I'm gonna open gonna this one. To the side. And we need to open this one. Oh. <laughs> what did you think when you got here and you like, <laughs> what happened? I, I don't know how to open you're, things. Okay. I got all, right. all gold great paint to all know over. That, <laughs> great to know that you're just as messy as I am. That's wonderful. <laughs> Two peas in a pod here. Yeah. 
No, this is good, and this is good. <laughs> All right. Rinska, if you're watching this, we wish you were here with us. Yes. We miss you. Miss Maybe you. next time, right? Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we really need to get all three together. Yes. All right, so, so here it is. Here it is. So the way that I like to do it, just like- And why, why are you putting this on first? Like, what does this do? Yeah, so first of all, it helps to prevent paint bleeding under the stencil because even if you're working with thicker paint, a little bit of it still can get onto this, under the stencil. It's called bleeding. Yeah. So and, like your edges will be a little bit fuzzy. Leave, yeah, once you remove the stencil, it's, it's not going to be that sharp. Your line's going to be a little fuzzy and not okay. so crisp. I like it crisp, so that's the one reason. To prevent the bleeding. A second reason, I just like the texture. I like the texture. Okay, and because it raises it a little bit off of the canvas. Yeah. So like when you're looking at it, it almost looks 3D. Like you've got this, the layer of the canvas, and then you've got this really pretty textured stencil. Exactly. That's what I love exactly about Exactly what them. she said, yeah. So when applying this gel. And you can do this right here. Don't like lift, don't, don't go right, don't go uh, hard on your stencil. Because if when you, Move your spatula or palette knife and then you lift it because you already have some product on it. You will lift the stencil with your palette knife, with, with spatula. Oh, okay. Again, when you rise so, it. So like clean, smooth strokes Yeah, you and want to keep soft. it flat. And when you're moving, you, you look very delicate. Ooh, <laughs> thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so you want to um, keep it flat. Yeah, keep it flat and moving slowly. And like when you're lifting it up, almost like in a rounded, nice rounded movement. So you don't go like this. Otherwise you will lift up the stencil. Okay, perfect. All right. And I usually, if, if it's, uh, I'm like so stencil, excited. I'm yeah, like, I'm like, like, I want to do, do it. it. I want to do, do it. it. <laughs> yeah. When I, when, if the whole stencil is on the surface, I usually work from the center towards the edges. If it's a little off, I would work from this side out. It's like butter, you apply like butter over the bread. Is the, okay, all right, okay. Yeah, just it. do it. I'm sure you can do it. Do it. I, well, it. I wanted to, well, I was, I was just trying to like process what you said there. So you don't work from the center out or you said you do work from yeah. the center out? So if the whole stencil is on the surface. Okay. I usually apply on the center and I work from the center out towards the edges. Okay, all right. But if but it's here, like here, I would actually start work from here from and here just and kind work of towards, swipe it towards all the, way the side. Yeah. Okay, all right. Ooh, and you don't want I'm nervous. Lot. No, you got this. Okay, got this. all right. Easy peasy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just kind of start right here. Keep it flat to yeah. So do it like yeah. but don't okay. Yeah, add a little bit of gel and yes, you got this. Very good. So careful. just swipe all the way yeah. up. And, and this is like not all the way down on the can. I'll just hold it right there yeah. then. And then I can just keep flattening this. Yes. Is there like an amount that you normally, or you just like scoop and then you scoop the rest of yeah, it back into yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just when you feel like it, it begins to to not move freely, I'll just scoop Like when you feel like your more. palette yeah. knife is scraping against yeah, the stencil, yeah. basically? Okay. Yeah, and you need very thin layer. You don't need a lot of the gel. Like and when we, yeah, see what you just did. Okay. Not I'll good. Pause, this, pause for a second. Okay. If you have your stencil like this and you hold it, you have to watch the hand that holds it because you just did like this. And oh, when you do like I this, see. you actually It'll lift go up it underneath up. it. Okay. So yeah. All right. I think it's fine. So I'm just going to yeah. hold it this way. See, we make it look much harder than it actually is, guys. It's very simple, but with a lot of explanation, it feels like, oh my God, this is a lot to process. Okay, Perfection. so now do you take a bigger palette knife? Now I'm gonna lift that up just a little bit. Now, do you take a bigger palette knife and like swipe the whole thing to make it? I do not do that. Because you like the texture. You, that's I like on the texture, there. but also we're gonna be applying paint on top. So you're not gonna keep all the strokes. And even if you do, once you remove the stencil, you're not gonna really see them. Okay, so all right. So matter. you don't have to like worry about it being completely smooth or anything no, like that. Okay, not all right, at all. perfect. Not at all. So that's it? This is done That's with the gel? Yeah, done with the gel. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get this yep. part back in here. And that's it. So this it. bottle will last like, oh, like forever. a yeah. really long time yeah. too. Yeah. Do you have this in your Amazon store? Yes, I do. You can get it online, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. Online. We can, uh, I'm going to add it to mine as well, but yeah. <laughs> you can get it. You can get this online. You can get it at an art store, like anywhere. Any gloss gel will do. All right. It doesn't have to be golden. Okay, and then I'm just so gonna just wipe it off. A paper towel. Oh, you got one there. there. Yeah. All right. So for this one, we will do black paint. Okay. 
And we're going to go right over top of this. Right over top, and the same idea. You'll work from this side towards that side. Okay. Yeah. And again, you don't want to add too much. And once you start adding, you will see that the paint, it will start over mixing with gel a little bit, and your black will look a little more grayish because some of the white gel will over mix into the black. But it dries, but it dries transparent. So it will actually be black. Totally makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to touch that side right now because I'm going to be working on this side. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see where to start. There. Okay, I see it. I see it. Before I do this, <laughs> do you see our aprons? Mine's not that bad, but look <laughs> at this work of art apron that we have here. I had it from day one. <laughs> I started doing my videos and I don't know, like four or five years I have it already. Yeah. That's like, amazing. I have like 18 of them. Yeah. I have one. <laughs> and you can almost stand it, you know, yeah. it's like, it it's so, so much. Shit. It says I don't love it. Now, actually this is easier because it's much harder to mess it up at this point. The gel is a little more tricky because this is where I still can lift a little bit of stencil, but when you're working over gel, it's nice. See right here, it's blending in and it looks like it's gray, but it's actually it's gonna be black when it's dry. I like to do it when I do stencil in the center blowout. I would sort of do in a rounded shape, especially if it's a round stencil. I would do a little bit of other color outside. But here, because we have this movement, I would actually get a little bit of gold and maybe do a couple strokes to connect to connect with the dynamic of this like side the, of the swipes corner. that are going. yeah okay yeah. Right. and then maybe a little bit of copper i want to still keep it black because to keep the contrast from the lighter background but just a little bit so it's all in harmony okay with the same. so i'm not going to take a lot then i'm just going to scoop so i'm just going to scoop just a tiny little yep. bit like that I scooped it on the wrong side, but okay. So I'm just gonna. Not making it easy. <laughs> I'm actually gonna scoop it on this side. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, keep it more flat so you. Don't oh, do okay. I see. Yeah. I see. I think this is perfect. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go. What did I do? Something wrong? No, nothing wrong. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm gonna, just going to do just a tiny bit because I've got both colors on there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go just a tiny bit. Yes, this is nice. Right there. I think I'm going to leave that tip kind of yeah. where it is. Okay. Okay, this is perfect. Now my next question is, yeah. when can you take the stencil off? As soon as you're done applying whatever you applied, I do not keep it on. I mean, you have open window like I don't know, 15 minutes-ish, maybe 10 minutes, but don't leave it longer because gloss gel is actually an excellent binder. You can use it as adhesive for your collages or whatever. So it will stick your stencil completely to the painting. So you don't want to keep it on. We're going to remove it right away. Okay. So this is the important step. Okay. Because this is where we can actually You do this on this one then. So I, when oh, removing I the tape... going to turn out. I feel like I also need to show it separately. I'm just gonna quickly do it here. So if I'm not careful when I'm removing the tape, especially the last piece, because first two, when I'm removing this, this is gonna keep it in place, but removing the last one is sort of the most important thing. But if I'm not careful and I go like this, you see what happens? You like, again, same thing. You are removing the stencil from, from the so canvas. So maybe like keeping it here and then removing yes. so that you, you got don't it. like, you okay, got it. I'm, so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove this piece. Okay. I'm gonna remove peace, <laughs> peace and love. I'm gonna remove this part. Okay, I'm gonna remove this one, nice and slow. Okay, and one thing I will say is, so I'm using like a sensitive 3M tape here. Mm -hmm. It has good adhesion, but it doesn't leave like a sticky Stickiness. part on the actual painting. So I wouldn't use like shipping tape or any type of like duct tape. I wouldn't use that because it's really, really sticky on the back end and you could leave some of the adhesion, uh, like some of the glue basically from the tape mm -hmm. on the painting itself, right? Yeah, yeah, we okay. don't want that. So this one, I actually like to keep the last one on and this is where it gets interesting. So always removing away so you can, <laughs> What's that? You're not gonna see it, sorry, but you guys are gonna see it. So carefully removing it, and this is like the best part. We start lifting it up really carefully. Oh, it looks so pretty! It's very satisfying actually to do it. 
Okay. And we'll pull that up. We'll pull it up. And there you have it. What do you that think? That is, I really like that. That's really cool. See how nice and sharp it is? Oh, it's nice. And we'll, it will actually have even more contrast when it's dry, when the gloss is going to be transparent. Okay. So gonna be now, question. How do you clean that? Excellent question, Molly. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I didn't, I, we didn't rehearse this. We no, didn't write this not. down, but I really want to know how do you clean that? Because I want to reuse it. So I would, let me see it right here. Okay. Do you want to put a paper towel yes. down? Okay. You could even put that on like a canvas or something yeah. if you wanted, yeah. right? It, it would More actually like decoupage. decoupage yeah. But, okay. So, so now, now you're going to scrape that off. Scrape. We're going to use the same, actually something with more flat edge will work better. Okay. And we scraping this off. It will actually have a very cool design. We're scraping everything. I hope you guys can see you on one of the Ooh. cameras. Let's move it up here. Mm. Move it right here. Let's put one more paper towel down on here. Okay, there we go. Okay. So you're just scraping? Yeah, I'm just scraping it off. And this is actually perfectly good paint. Okay, go just put it, over, put it over there on the side. Yeah, we should do that. And just remove as much as you can. So like I can actually use that on this other stencil yes, that's gonna be down can. here. Yes. And removing this is. Ooh, look yeah, at that! Auction off this napkin. Yeah, <laughs> this paper towel. So one what? million dollars. <laughs> and then with paper towel, I remove as much as you can. You can use it with a little bit of alcohol. I remove as much as I can to scoop up as much product. Okay, and then you can literally just paint right over that the next you time. You can paint around. right over. Uh, it looks really messy right now, but if you keep going, you're gonna just get it clean. Okay, so we're ready to do the stencils now, right? Yes. But, uh, so I have a question really quick. Yeah. Maybe my brain just didn't comprehend it, but okay. So I thought that we were gonna do, so when you said earlier that you go, if I'm right-handed, I go left to right, but it really depends on, and it's to not smudge, right? Yes. And so it really depends on where you are on the canvas, right? Mm -hmm. So if, whoop, <laughs> Olga goes flying out of yeah. the camera frame. Oh, oh, no, yeah. so um, so if I'm like over here yeah. on it, right, and I'm trying to do this one, I would do this one first. I mean, I would do no, this yeah. one first. You got it. Because yes. I don't want to be doing it and somehow like smudge this one. Yes. But if I'm over here, I could really do either of these. Yeah, in okay. this position, they're both sort of a little bit out of the way diagonally towards you, so it doesn't matter. But if you're working from here or if you're working with someone like with, you know, another with, person, another or person, because you're working on this one and this one's done and I'm leaning over and like guarantee I will touch it okay. and I will ruin it. So okay. whichever one is going to be less on if the it is possible of your hand. Yeah. If you've ever watched my channel, you will know if it is possible to screw something up. I'm either yeah. dropping something <laughs> in it or I'm screwing it up. So, all right. Okay. So let's get, so we're going to do this one first. Yes. And we showed you a little bit of how we picked the stencils themselves. And when we did that, it was going with the flow of the painting still, going with like circular lines here, kind of straighter lines here. So that's why we picked this one to go in this kind of crevice that mm -hmm. was created here. And I, I think I'm actually okay with it maybe overlapping just yep. the tiniest bit so that it kind of really flows into there. So I think I'm gonna go down. I want it to be, I wanna have yeah, that you part on there. Yeah, you wanna keep that part inside, yeah. Okay, so next step. Taping. Tape. That's right. I'm gonna tape this on. Okay, so next step, cleaned palette knife and modeling, regular gloss gel. I mean, you can use modeling paste for this as well, but it's opaque white and it dries white. So I actually like to use transparent better. Should I have started from the middle on this one? For this one, you can do either or. But because this side is not secure, I actually think it works better to work from here towards here. Okay. Because when all four sides are secure with the tape, I like to start from the center. But when one is out, that's the most vulnerable part. And we want to, when working away from yourself, away towards that part, did you just 
lift the stand? No, uh -uh, I hit the tape. That would be a perfect example of what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just lift it. I hit the I hit the tape with okay. my. I don't know. I guess we'll rewatch it and see yeah. if I really did. Yeah. If I lifted the stencil, I don't think I did. I, I will know I right did. away as soon as we remove the stencil. We'll see if. Give the viewers will of, also yeah. trust me. The yeah. viewers will also tell yeah. you if you like. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it happen. All right. Okay, so I would say at this point you don't need to add more gel. You can yeah, just, just spread out what's, yeah. what's there. This is so okay, perfect. Okay, looks I love good. How this one turned out. Okay, done. Done, done. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to go flat. Yep. Yes. And right over. Yes. And it's the same idea. It's going to start over mixing with gel a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It's not, you don't want to see just white part. Like you see, you're moving oh, a little I too see. much. Okay. Yeah. But you can always go back there. And once everything is covered, you can actually and I'm gonna do this gold now too. I'm yes. mixing the two golds. So Molly wa really wanted to use this gold because it's very pretty. It's and bright. But and I said you should also use this one, the one that you should use in the painting, and she used one by Creative Inspirations. Because this way the whole painting, you know, use the same colors, everything is in balance with each other, and the embellishment part doesn't look like it doesn't belong on the canvas you know it's not too different from everything else I would, so there is um it's all cohesive that's the word right cohesive, cohesive. yes correct got that one right <laughs> so with the now i will let me just so one thing that i just did make sure that you don't do when i was swiping just now i'm glad olga didn't see it um <laughs> as i was swiping just now i actually almost swiped onto the painting. So make sure you're not getting too happy with swiping <laughs> yeah. because I literally was like this almost. So just make sure you don't get any of the extra paint on the painting itself. But a bit, yeah. Pretty pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. I keep scooping on the wrong side of the palette knife. Ooh, that was a lot. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I know. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay, I think that's good. I think I'm nice. happy with that. Nice. Okay, so now I'm going to so take this off. Move it. You are going to okay. do it. I'm going to give you this. For the yeah, I can clean it. Can. All right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. No problem. I'm going to so remove the side. This is how you do it. Oh, Mom. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peace and love. I'm going to remove the side. And then I'm going to... Oh, it's got a oh, little yes. bit of texture oh, on it. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. <gasps> oh, this I didn't get any jet. That's just going to be dry transparent, isn't and it? And you know, it's perfect because we're going to show what to do with it. Okay. Yes. So we're going to show exactly Can what to do Can you put the it. stencil back down after it's dry and then brush back over it? You can. Like if you match not it just back brush up exactly. Over. If you start brushing over, you, you will get a little bit of bleeding. But you can okay. put the stencil back and touch up just those sections where you don't have the paint. That's like right the, now? We no, can no, do no, it no. Once, after it, once it's dry. dry. Yeah, oh, don't okay. mess with it right now. Okay. No, 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 I would have no. done the wrong thing there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is perfect. I must have, I, I just wasn't paying attention. Look, see, oh, it's right there. It's, it's because right there. it's because it's very fine details. Remember I told oh, you like so sometimes. Oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. That's why, right? Yeah. Let's compare where, where it didn't go this way it's yeah. the very tiny yeah. like i didn't have it right there yeah. i missed that spot but like up there i got paint all in that and it just didn't go through so see it's it's great now we learned yeah. that if you have very fine details with the, on a stencil i would say you had a little too much gel because gel filled in completely the holes of the stencil and when we applied so the thinner the paint, layer yes thinner layer of gel if you have very fine dots like on this one because outside of the design here they're like super duper fine okay 
Yeah, but it's like such an easy fix, not a problem. Okay. Okay, so I have this one. I went ahead and taped this one off. And this is going to be you the say what last you did one. Here? Yes. So I put the so what I was noticing is that this, it was kind of lifting off the canvas, just like Olga had said earlier, because this was down and the whole thing was kind of up. So what I did is I put a container here and just a little bit of paper towel to like hold it up just a little bit, bit more, a little to keep flat. it flat. Yeah. But even with that, because it's a canvas, canvas has a little bit of this dense toward then towards the center so it's still not perfectly flat but it's okay but yeah. on this one if you guys have the same problem work from the center out so that's what i'm going to do on this one is work center outward so i'm going to start and i'm going flat straight yeah. flat yes that's perfect i will do it okay. i'll show them <laughs> that'll show you stencil yeah. <laughs> I'm like looking over the shoulder and <laughs> holding I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh gosh, I hope we don't get copyright. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> All right. So right now you're adding like a lot of gel. Yeah, I'm and just it's gonna okay. spread and it's okay it on for out. this one because see, it's, it has bigger it's like bigger. A, a design, but for the other one. That wouldn't work. Oh, remember to be very careful. Work from the center. Okay, yep, spreading this way. Yes. It's kind of hard to get that part right there. Okay. Okay. I did have a lot on there. Mm -hmm. You can it. always remove a little bit of gel and put it back to the can and it's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, got it. Okay. I know, I know, I see. I see, I see. <laughs> see Signora. Okay. All right, does that look good? Perfecto. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay, hold on. Got to position myself. Positioning yourself right, I feel like, mm -hmm. is very important for this. And going straight across. I feel like I want to pick that back up, though. So once you get the hang of the process, it's actually super easy. And sometimes, even when I work on multiple stencils at the same time, um, I would first I tape them all, then apply gel on all of them, apply paint on all of them, like one by one. No, actually, no, not one by one. At the same time, but here you see we work one by one because when you it's new, the process. You just, yeah, you just need to get used to it and you don't want to, your gel to sit for too long on the canvas because it will dry, it, it will adhere your stencil to the canvas. So definitely work on one at a time. That's like a sculpture this. piece of art. And <laughs> next level. Next level. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Double the mix. It's media. a little bit, do you have, so it's a little bit hard to get this at the end without pulling up. So like, is it okay to just kind of go backwards a little bit? Over the, the gel, it's there? okay, yes. Okay, all right. So once the gel is down, you don't have to like always work outward too. It would keep it more in place for sure. Okay. Once the gel is on. Okay, do you think that's good? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Do you have any, I would I think you missed a little spot here, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. Ooh. That's perfect. We will Ooh. clean it up. Okay. Don't worry. Ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to go with this color. I always do it to the wrong side. Okay. So I'm going to do, so I think I'm going to do it this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> you got enough of that one. Picked the wrong color. Okay, okay I think that's good for me. 
Okay. Hey. It's all good? Yep, I think so. Okay, so I can't do that. I can't do my peace sign here. I should have picked this one up last. Yes. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. Going for this one. Okay. This one. Oh my gosh, I was like holding my breath. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, at this point, you, you don't want to mess it up. So like, oh, please tape. Move well. And this is why having a have... little edge of the tape up actually well... helps. Okay, I got okay. this. I got this. I got this. I think I'm just going to remove it with okay. that little one there. Careful, slowly. <gasps> Good job. Yeah, nice okay. troubleshooting here. So we are going to do the other stencil just like we did on this side. And then I'm going to show you the final result and you can let me know what you think. Keep watching. Thank you right so back. much. I'm super happy. You're thank you. Thank so you. Thank you. You're welcome. See, this, this is fun. An amazing, yeah, yeah, an amazing video. Thank you. All no right. No problem. Okay. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, here it is. How pretty is that? That's my favorite stencil right there, but I'll take you from the side. So I did this one myself and a couple things happened. There was a little bit of black paint left over um, on the bottom side that didn't get cleaned off on the stencil. And on that, it actually stayed on the painting and it left like this little string and we had to pull that out. So I had to fix that a little bit. But that's that one. How pretty is that one? Gorgeous. Love it. And I do love the texture, Olga. Yeah. And then this that's one, so much. pulled it down the sides a little bit. And that's fine. We can always touch up with black afterwards if you want. And that is going to dry transparent. Mm -hmm. And then there is the other side over there. So I will show you when these are dry and how they shimmer in the light. I cannot wait. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so here it is. You've already seen the painting before, but I just wanted to take you in on the actual... Look at how that shines. Wow. This is stunning. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had such a fun time with Olga. Happy painting! Bye.